Welcome to the Phoenix Empath Intuitive. We sometimes give our light and energy to people who never really see our worth. And sometimes we have to discover how to take our power and energy back by using affirmations, visual inspiration, oracles, and meditation. I am here to give you motivation on how the past is always our teacher and we can learn from each other. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Thank you guys and I truly love you. Hey you guys. All right, I'm back on. Um, I really appreciate, hold on, you probably can't hear me because I got my back turned towards the camera. I really appreciate all of your comments, all of the likes, the subscribers, you know. Make sure you hit that bell notification, you know. It just shows and it gets my channel out there. Sorry, I'm scooting my seat up. It, it gets my channel out there so everybody can see it just like you do. And maybe it'll give somebody a chance to hear a message that they need to hear. You know, so again, I appreciate you guys. I'm going to pull from the Destin Love Oracle and then the Archetype deck, and then I'll clarify. So the Destin Love Oracle is just to let you know, kind of like a situation, but the Archetype is telling you the type of person that you've been dealing with. So we're going to get a situation, and then we'll turn around and pull the type of person, place, thing, situation that's going on and that you're dealing with. So this is from the Destin Love Oracle. All of my decks are, are located inside introverted. So you might be an introvert. All of my decks are located, ooh, lo, excuse me, located inside of my uh, description box. Um, yeah, inside of my description box, dreams, introverted. You're going after your dreams in the house and it's okay. And you're not telling anybody. That's the reason why you are you know, with the chrysalis, with the butterfly, you know, you are not telling anybody this time around about the dreams, everything that you're dreaming about, the things that you're doing. You're not letting anybody know about those situations. You're just going ahead and going for them, you know, without even hearing any kind of judgment. Okay, so the card flew back. Hmm. The card that came out is life partner. You know, not even your life partner. You're not even telling somebody who you, who you deem to be your life partner. You're not telling them anything. This could be the person that you're stuck in the house with. You know, we're not on lockdown like we were. Okay, all the cards keep flying out on the floor. But we're not, yeah, Clarity. We're not on like lockdown like we're, we were before. But during this lockdown and during these last couple of years, you had the ability to kind of see where you wanted to go in life and what was holding you back and what was keeping you, you know, um, from achieving the things that you want or going after your dreams. Um, intimacy, something about the life partner and your intimate uh, goals, you know, no pillow talking for you. I'm not going to take these energies. I'll show you what it is longing. So maybe you're longing for your life partner. So maybe that's why you're looking at things differently. There could be, let's see, compromise, nostalgia, like blessings, memories, gifts, dating, romance, passion, taking action, lessons, and secret admirers this wasn't in reverse it came up right so maybe you have a secret admirer maybe you have been compromising in the past i'll put this over here separate read you know nostalgia is in reverse so you know you were thinking about the memories of the past you know you're giving a gift to yourself passion action lessons and secret admirers so your, and your attraction is at the bottom of the deck so you whatever it is that you're attracted by the person who may be your secret admirer or something you've been dreaming about when it comes to a life partner you're now having clarity in regards to how you want to be in this situation your intimate level you know how you want to be able to uh, let loose or um, give your all mentally physically and spiritually and this is something that you've been longing for. It may not be something that's right here at grass, but there is some person that you might be attracted to um, that you're willing to compromise with. And you're, yeah, something about the nostalgia, the memories being in reverse. I don't know if it came out in reverse. Finances shows its face, but, you know, I don't know if it came in reverse or whatever, but... Uh, you are looking at things from a different perspective. So I'll put this to the side. And if I feel like it, I want to clarify. I might clarify dating romance. So yeah, I think you're starting to get back into and take an action about what you're passionate about. You know, there is a secret admirer somewhere around. and But there's lessons from the past that you're, 
you know, that you're looking at from a distance, like, okay, will I be able to compromise with my life partner if I see things about this person that does not serve me or does not mean me well, you know? So, you know, that's the scary part about it. So, you know, holding on to the memories, and that's probably why the nostalgia card is in reverse. You don't want to hold on to the memories and you don't want your life partner to have to go through any type of pain that you or lessons that you had in the past. So you're trying to figure out how you want to do things moving forward, you know, how you want to take action. Uh, and there could be a secret admirer. So I don't know this dating romance and the memories you're not holding on to them anymore, but you're trying to figure out like if there if I do have someone that I'm attracted to. Right. Will this be an issue for them? You know, all the pain that I have experienced, which we are understanding now and having clarity that the pain is um, considered, that the pain is considered like um, lessons. You know what? It was so weird because I just had a, a feeling of somebody walking uh, up behind me which is weird because my son is asleep and my ba my grandbaby's in the room, but it just, I just, that's why I kind of pause. Like I know nobody else is in my house and I know my son is asleep and I'm waiting on a delivery and my oldest son is not here and nor is his fiance. So it's like, it was weird. And my guy is gone or whatever, not here or whatever, not in the state, but yeah, that was weird. So there you have it. Maybe somebody's coming up to you and trying to, talk to you while you're listening to me. I don't know. Or maybe somebody's walking up to you trying to take action when it comes to you because they feel you about to move forward. Hmm. That was weird though. That was really weird. I haven't felt that energy in a while like that. I haven't felt anything like that in a while. So where do we go from here? Let's pull the type of person that you've been dealing with or this type of person. Yeah that you know you had to rebuild yourself from or you know who you felt like was your life partner or how you want your life partner to be so or should i see the situation i don't know that was eerie that was weird introverted we're clarifying introverted right now with the archetype deck so the card that came out is aquarius so introverted you could be dealing with the uh, aquarius um, a lot of the Aquarius travel try to come out. A lot of the Aquarius is, I know like to go out. They're not really introverted, but they don't put a lot of people in their business. So I don't know. You could be dealing with the Aquarius, but what is it about dreams? You know, Aquarius could be your new person that you've been dating. Okay. So what comes out is the higher self, your dreams. You're looking at things in a different perspective because at some point your higher vibrations were blocked. Virgo is in reverse. You know, Virgo is the... Uh, what is it? The high priestess energy, I think. Um, I can't think. Virgo, I think it's like the high priestess energy. But uh, you are basically, you know, making sure that, you know, with the Virgo being reversed, uh, because what is Virgo? Why can't I have, why am I having a brain freeze? I think it is the high, no, it's not high. Is it the high priestess energy? Mm, no, that's the, is it Virgo? Is it high priestess? No, that's Pisces. What is the Virgo energy? Why can't I think of what I want to say? I'm over here trying to pull more cards for you. But anyway, the energy of Virgo, I, it'll come to me because right now I'm having a brain freeze. But, you know, you are trying to figure out what it is that you want to do uh, in life. And therefore, why can I just, I mean, you know, I'm having a brain freeze. I think that whole little thing just kind of shook me up with the... Um, Feeling like it literally felt like somebody just walked behind me. That's just crazy. Um, so yeah, that was weird. That was that was awkward. But it'll come back to me what the Virgo is because I cannot think straight. That just screwed me up. But with it being in reverse, you could be dealing with the Virgo that has changed up and changed how they do things. Um, and I'm still having a heartache because I cannot remember what the Virgo card is, it will come to me. It will come to me. Breathe, 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 breathe. What, why, why can I have, okay, anyway, it's not meant for me to say it to you now, but if you know what the Virgo is, you know what it is, and I'm having a brain freeze about it, so it's not even, uh, it's just making me mad. That's all it's doing. Uh, but anyway, 
You know, I just feel like with this Virgo energy being here, and this is a message from, this is unsent messages from your, um, the, uh, this is Amwar's Tarot, the unsent DMs or DMs, unsent messages or something like that. So anyway, I just feel like you had some kind of blockage and maybe that is why you, I said the higher self because it was giving you some kind of blockage with the person, place, thing, or situation that you were dealing with, you know? And so that's just kind of, there it is, the hermit. I know what it is. Hermit, I always say the hermit card is, um, should be cancer because we go into our shell and then that's how we retreat from distraction to determine our own truth. But it's, um, it's the Virgo card, which I'm pretty jealous about, but that is where we are with this situation. So the life partner, yeah, past life, you see, see, but it came in reverse. You're having, you're trying to figure out, you know, if the person that you've been dealing with or whatever is causing some type of blockage with you, hermit energy, you know, hermit card in reverse is, uh, you know, you actually understanding that, um, you know, you're isolating yourself and distancing yourself or you resign from dealing with the person. And so with the past life being in reverse, that's just like you already understand that this is something that you have to make a decision in regards to. It's like kind of balancing out the scales. Like you have to figure that out. But having the clarity is here. That's my food. Hold on one second. Okay. So before I had to, that was my doorbell. That was my food. I ordered food. But um, clarity, my grandbaby's behind me. So you'll hear. When I pulled clarity, the addiction, and I had to rest my nerves because that irritated me. That scared me. Actually, but maybe uh, maybe somebody walked behind you. But the addiction, having clarity, knowing that this is a codependent relationship, maybe with an air sign that came out, right? Um, so, let's see, the intimacy. The intimacy, let's clarify the intimacy. So, we have air energy on the board. We have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Yeah, numb. Intimacy is numb. You don't have a connection with this person that you've been dealing with. So um, this could be, again, you dealing with somebody or you understanding the way the relationship went. Uh, somebody who you felt like was your life partner. And, you know, life partner in past life, it's like, it, to me, it just seems like it balances out the scales. But there was a numb feeling. So I think, like I said before, that you are uh, trying to figure out, we're clarifying long thing in reverse, you're trying to figure out if this is a person that, um, you know, if you move forward, will you feel that negative energy? Okay. Will you feel that negative energy moving forward? Negative energy, femme fatale, right? Femme fatale being here. Will you feel that negative energy moving forward? So we have the longing in reverse. And the card that comes out is the crone and the magician. So the crone and the magician is basically... Hey. The crone and magician, she's on her YouTube. The crone and magician is basically, you know, the same energy, being able to manifest, being able to see something different, you know, so longing. And that's what you're looking for, something different, you know, something different. You're waiting for something to change. You're wondering if you, you should even compromise with an old person, uh, maybe accept gifts from them because the gift is here at the uh, that fell out. And also go after your passions and you know, understand the lessons and take an action in regards to it, you know, but the femme fatale, again, is somebody that, you know, it has a toxic type energy, you know, so that's what I mean by that, if that makes sense, you know, it says, you know, on the right hand side is you dating, if you move forward and date, you know, will the memories of the past uh, come back to um, not haunt you, but, you know, will the memories of the past affect the, the new attraction that's here? Does that make sense? Because attraction is here and femme fatale. Now, these cards came out. Remember, I told you that. You saw that. These cards came out. Can you see this here? These cards came out. They flipped out, and I really didn't want to take them. But, again, I just kind of see these are two different energies. You're trying to figure out if you should compromise with the person that you were with before or, and uh, you know, and accept gifts and understand that this is somebody or something that you were passionate about. You know it was a codependent energy. Air energy is here a couple of times. And then we have the higher self Virgo energy being here. You know, so uh, I just think that, you know, you are trying to figure that part out, you know, with this situation. You know, so earth energy, you know. So I just, 
something tells me but the reason why I feel like this is you going back towards the past and not necessarily uh, revisiting the present or a secret admirer is because when that energy felt like it came up like was walking behind me or came up behind me which was hella weird um, I just feel like this was somebody that you know you're used to coming in your house and kind of surprising you take what resonates does that make sense you know so that's just kind of how I felt that that's what that made me feel like is that somebody was coming that you're not you know that maybe have the key to your house and that just came up behind you to surprise you and say look I'm back you get what I'm saying so that's just kind of how I see that that's that's just kind of how I see this energy now I don't know which card deck I want to take in regards to clarifying this I haven't used this one in a while and I used to like this so for the Aquarius introverted energy um, yeah you're in the house and the Aquarius is out you know outside and you know you're the introverted person you know when it comes to dealing with you know this Aquarius you know being in the house you know um, okay oh two cards came out I was gonna say one card came out but two cards came out um, okay the hermit card came out and the five of swords um, it didn't come in reverse. I picked it up. But anyway, the Hermit card and the Five of Swords. This is conflict, deception, and defeat. You know, the Five of Swords is also ego. You know, the Five of Swords is also ego. But you had to retreat from distraction to determine your own truth. Remember, I said that your higher self is in reverse. So when that's in reverse, um, it just makes it cloudy. It makes your vision cloudy. But you know that ego is involved in this situation, right? And that's basically it. When I said that this person is coming back and, and, and like you're in the house and they might have the key to your house or something like that. And, you know, they always walk. They don't tell you when they're coming. They just come. And then basically it's like, surprise, I'm back without any explanation of where they've been or what they're doing. It's kind of how I see it. So Virgo, higher self, Virgo in reverse, like the, oh shit, the hermit card in reverse. You see what I'm saying? So the hermit card, or maybe it did come in reverse. I'm not sure because soul searching, you know, but the Virgo is in reverse and the higher self is in reverse. So it's clouded, you know, it shows you that with the magician here, you're trying to see two different ways. You're trying to see from different perspectives in regards to, you know, if you should go back to this person because you're longing. So you're asking, you know, a higher self or, you know, using your crone energy and the wizard energy or magician energy to figure out what it is. Higher self, Virgo in reverse when it comes to the dreams, your dreams. So hermit mode, retreating from distraction to determine your own truth. Ten of swords in reverse, right? Or it came out sideways, but we're going to take it in reverse. The ten of swords in reverse, and this came out in my last read. The ten of swords in reverse is, you know, um, was that the ten of swords in reverse? No, it was the nine of swords in reverse. You know, this is... Um, abrupt conclusions this is you coming to a conclusion about your dreams are they being blocked by this person's energy past life and life partner you know which i say balances out you know you feel like this is the past life maybe soulmate energy but this all these cards came out okay so you feel like yeah twin flame in reverse come on you guys come on you guys okay so look twin flame in reverse this is you know, the soul or something like that. But this is past life and par life partner. You're not sure about this. You know, you're not sure about what you do. Magician comes out, you know, in regards to manifesting something with this person. You know, Knight of Cups energy. This is creativity, romantic uh, energy and a proposal. So maybe this person is going to come in and try to, you know, it says uh, Knight of Cups energy. Always follow your heart. It'll never lead you astray because it knows things the mind can't explain. Hold on, I got to turn my heater down. Oh, God, it's hot. Um, I have my heater on. I always keep it on 73, but I have it on. Uh, I had it on 80 because my grandbaby was in the front um, playing in her uh, room and her toys and stuff. So, Empress in reverse, yeah. Okay, with the Empress in reverse, this is feeling overwhelmed. This is being impatient, and it's not necessarily selfishness when it comes to this energy. You know this energy is different, you know, when it comes to how you're doing things, you know. So that's the reason why it's like, 
you are all over the place because you cannot see. Normally, you will be able to see or feel this person's energy when they walk up behind you, right? Okay? But you're not able to see. Empress and Emperor. Come on, you guys. I can't make this shit up. You know? So, Empress and Empress right here in reverse, right? An emperor in the upright, authority, power, and stability. You know, is this your twin flame? The twin flame is in reverse too. So that just lets you know that, you know, yeah, this is challenges. Seven of Wands energies, challenges. You know, this is victory, hope, and defense, uh, defensiveness. But the Seven of Wands here says, and let me read it to you. It's important when you stand your ground, especially when you are in a position of advantage. So we have, look at these, look at these cards, life partner. I'm going to I'm going to clarify all of these because the life partner in the upright, right? You want to grow old with this person because you felt like you've known them from the past, right? Then we have the twin flames in reverse, but you're not sure of this past life energy. You know, the magician, the knight of cups, the empress in reverse, the emperor in reverse, and the seven of wands energy in the upright. You, you got to understand that there's challenges when it comes to dealing with twin flames, uh, soulmates, and things like that. That was in my last read, but the addiction is here. So again, the clarity and the addictions and the air energy, codependent relationships, codependent en energies. And like in my last read, it said, basically, you have to heal first in order for you to be abundant and then that turns around send good energy out to your soulmate partner twin flame and then they'll hopefully they'll heal and feel that in the 5d you sending blessings towards them and then come back around and change but you know will you know and that was the the reason why i placed in my read earlier uh what it's like to be in love because that's been coming out every time i i'm just saying so the attraction is knowing that you're attracted to a self-destructive type energy but again, you have to learn how to heal from this situation. Or this could be a third party, a self-destructive type person that this other person has been dealing with in the past. I'm not sure. Take what resonates. But we have, oh shoot, I bent my cards. I hate when I bend them. They'll bend back though. But anyway, we have this energy here with the clarity. Having clarity is the six of clubs. Yeah, childhood energy, a, re a reconciliation, right? And um, reminiscing. So codependent air energy and having clarity you know ace of wands energy a passionate new beginning so reconciliation you know uh four pinnacles energy four years this person is finally ready to get it together after four years of you working on yourself if that makes sense you know and if this is not the case again stop manifesting this person stop thinking about this person and uh a, a way of Oh, I wish they would have changed because you say that in the universe will, you know, it's like they will send this person back healed or it's equivalent. And maybe he'll come back too soon. And when he's not healed, he or she is not healed. But the four of pentacles in reverse is standing still, you know, like a standstill or somebody being greedy or it could be somebody controlling this situation, air energy. And that's why you don't have clarity and you can't find clarity. So numb, numb. Okay, my cards are being crazy now because they bent. And I see my cards are in reverse. That's hella crazy. What are you doing? Yeah, that's hella crazy because I don't even put my cards in reverse. Knight of Swords popped out. What are you doing? Huh? Uh, Knight of Swords popped out. It was up in the upright, I think. But anyway, with the numb feeling, Knight of Swords is... Um, uh, what is it? Be tough, be ambitious, know what you want and go after it in a single-minded determination. You want to be intimate with this person, but it's making you feel numb because you're not sure. You're not sure. You know, you're not sure if you should take action and go ahead or, you know, when this person does take action and comes towards you, you're not sure how you're going to handle this situation. Because again, you have the opportunities to go out and be around someone else, but, or, or find someone else is new, but the memories being in, in the Reverse the nostalgia of you longing in reverse, right? Using your intuition to figure this out and the nostalgia, the blessings and memories here, you know, will that cause you to have to make a decision when this person does walk behind you, right? So uh, longing, wizard, and crone comes out three cards. Queen of Pentacles, listen, <sighs> big hearted, very social, you know? Uh, nurturing you have been nurturing this person who's able to manifest wizard energy or this is your energy trying to figure it out crone energy 
you know, having the, not, the insight and the knowledge to know what's causing you to be sad. But the Queen of Pentacles can be toxic to herself. It just keeps coming out the same way. Herself, himself, however, big hearted, too big hearted, waiting and longing for this person to walk behind them and say, surprise, I'm back because it causes burdens, you know. You know, you're overextending yourself. Come on now, I can't make this up. You're overextending yourself. You're struggling. You know, the burdens are there, you know? So the longing, is it good or bad? If it's in reverse, I think it's not that good because again, it makes you try to trust in something uh, that you that hasn't healed, you know? And have faith in a person and wish that this person would heal. Remember I said, if you're over this, let it be over because the universe, uh, excuse me, the, um, what is it called? What am I trying to say? the um subconscious doesn't play you know if you if you keep thinking about this person and saying you don't want it you got to make up your mind on what you want if you want to listen to the description in, in the description the game of life and how to play it chapter one which is the game chapter seven which is the actual um uh, love is in there it'll teach you and tell you what it is that you need to know and how your words have the power to heal to bring something back you know, or meaning bring a person's back energy back. Um, but remember, it says if you're a lie, you will be lied to. If you that's cheat, you will lie. be cheated. You know, those type of energy. So that's what I mean by that. So this is Six of Wands, triumph, public recognition, and pride. So you have to realize is this this if this attraction to this toxic codependent energy is is um worth it then don't let your pride get in the way if you feel like this person is healed you know that's just kind of how i see that so i'm gonna pull this away <clears throat> i'm gonna pull this away i don't even yeah i did actually i'm losing my mind right now uh this this read was weird to me right now but i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna clarify these cards yes Oh, three, two, one, go. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to clarify these cards because they came out last. And I want you to be able to see how they will go. I'm going to use a different set of tarot to clarify this energy. Um, I'm going to use what's the T here. I'm going to use what's the T because, again, oh, shoot. Hold on, baby. Um, again, it's something that. You know, we Yay. need to figure out what the T is when it comes to dealing with this person, place, thing, or situation. Now, if I can only find it. Let's see. I don't know what I did with it. Hold on one second, you guys. Or should I use the situation? You know what? No, here's what's the T right here, but maybe I'll use the situation. Hold on. <clears throat> yeah, I'll use the situation. That one 30 minutes. Okay. I use the situation. All right, so compromising. What is the situation when it causes you to compromise? Okay, well, there is wish fulfillment. You're wishing, you're wishing, praying and yearning for somebody to compromise with you or something to happen. So you're compromising. You have proof about and had receipts about something when it comes to this person and others have been involved with the intervention of you guys maybe coming together or separating. I'm not sure the gift the gift let's see what the gift is what what the gift is oh my gosh what is the gift the gift is somebody negotiating but it came in reverse so you're not no longer negotiating this person is coming to offer you a gift of maybe you know somebody with the intervention somebody told them you know cancer is uh too good to be true and you need to realize that does that make sense you need to realize that cancer is too good to be true and with that being said, you had to, you know, because you distance yourself, you are passionate about this situation, passion. Here we go. Yeah, but the time is coming. Time is ticking. You know, there's going to be a deadline. In a minute, you're you're understanding the lessons and you're moving forward. So that's what I meant in regards to that. Do you go to the, the new situation or do you take action and stay with the old one and wait for this person to learn the lessons in regards to who you really are and why you came into their life? I hate when these come out like this, but the lessons is, is that this person is toxic this person has had un, uh, unhealthy relationships their behaviors the people they deal with is toxic so that's a lesson uh crush this person had you sad broken and feeling alone 
you know, and so that is toxic. You had to re remove the negativity from your life and clear your space, you know, and so that is why you are recalling the memories when all this stuff is said and done. Because remember, you never really gave this person the ultimatum when it came to them being out of your life. So when you recall these memories, look at that. I can't make this up. They will return. And when it comes to that point of have they returned healed, remember how I just said I felt that somebody walking behind me because that just was like weird. Um, that is them coming back, you know, locked down. This person is in a mental prison, but therefore it made you in a mental prison. So you had to learn a lesson in regards to their dirty little secrets, their love affairs that they were having third party energy. So now take an action with the situation, right? Take an action with the situation. What action are you taking? All right. Yep. Okay. So divine masculine, this divine masculine is taking action. I told you the divine masculine is coming back. The secret admirer. Who is this secret admirer when it comes to the situation? You know, okay. First of all, this, yep. Today. So the secret admirer could be the per the divine masculine that's watching you, but I just said that they are coming back present now and in the moment, the secret admirer, they've been watching you go through your healing journey and therefore they have the memories they're holding on there you are not holding on to the memories but they are and now they want to come back and start things over and date nostalgia in reverse yep i told you that this person has been searching for you i just said that right this person has been searching for you this person has been searching and trying to find out what you're doing who you're dating who you're romantically with because you have not been bothered by anything but again, the lessons that you learned are here. Now, did they learn the lesson? And are they looking online for info in regards to you? You guys, I'm not making this stuff up, you know? So again, I just said to you that you're not holding on to the memories like they are because they're replaying in their head all the things, you know, and they're going to, excuse me, take action in regards to when. See, maybe they feel like you have a secret admirer or they're admiring you because they're looking at your stuff. It says today. They're going to take action. So that that's don't be don't be surprised if your phone rings or your door opens. Dating and romance when it comes to this situation. Dating and romance. Okay, first of all, all these cards came out. All right. So, emotions coming and going. So, this is what that person used to do and so you're trying to figure out if they're going to be if they're saying they want to start over, are they going to be coming and going? Yeah, look, they're watching you. Fake social media profiles. They're hiding behind uh, certain things in regards to seeing if you're dating. Because uh, they, they're enchanted by you. You know, they love you. But again, how are they dealing with it? The triggers are the names, the cars, the names, the type of stuff that they have, the cars and the places that they've been. They feel like that's the end all be all. But you're like, this is drama. You know, it causes chaos. And it causes the thirsty people to come around you because you, this person has all of this stuff, which they feel like it's impressing everyone, but it doesn't impress you. Does that make sense? That's kind of how I see that. Okay. Let me go ahead and clarify now with another tarot deck. Um, yeah, because you know, it's weird that, like I said, I felt like somebody was coming back. Does that make sense? I felt like somebody was coming back around you and you know, you had to figure out what it was that you needed to do. But this person has always had that op that that back and forth energy with you. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, use the Island Time Wellness. Um, this is two of the decks put in one. Uh, Love Oracles to see what messages it is. Secrecy, an affair, hiding something, use discretion, surprise, collaboration, protecting, denying, and taking a risk. So that's what the energy was in the past. And so bottom of the deck, siren, alluring, seductive, ductive, enticing, mysterious, threatening, vindictive, and rebellious. So that was this dirty little secret right here, the love affairs. And guess who it was with? Hold on. This femme fatale energy. That's how I feel now, you know, that it's out there. It's with this femme fatale energy, you know, and you use your intuition because you weren't sure what what it really was but you when you found out you were numb 
you know and so at this point you wanted them to call but you weren't tripping you 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 were tripping at first but then you just became so numb to this energy and you know you stop holding on to the memories of how you guys used to be intimate does that make sense so that's kind of how i see it i think it was the femme fatale so it was third party love affairs you know secrecies dirt, dirty little secrets um low down so i'm going to clarify these in a different I'll clarify a couple of them in a different read. Uh, I mean, in a different read, in a um, different spread. So I think right now I'm going to pull from Tarot. I'll just be talking, y'all. I hope y'all don't be like, oh, girl, she talked too much. No, of course you did. No, you better not because I'm giving y'all the tea. But I know I'll be talking. I'll be like, oh, God. Is this the card deck I want to use? I don't think it is. Hold on. Let me see what deck I want to use. Oh, right here. This is the one I want to use. This is more so a masculine card deck. You could be male or female. Take what resonates. But this is like the one that I like. I almost had to put 78 card pickup. Anyway, so the intervention is here. The receipts. Yep. That's where the compromise comes in at, in the wish. I get it now. You see what I'm saying? Because this here was the love affair. So the compromise comes in is if you want to compromise with this person when they come back within the next day or so, if that makes sense, you know, you, that you learned the lesson. Now, did they learn the lesson? And the, you know, the negotiator, them coming back with the gift, you're not going to negotiate, but they're going to try to negotiate. So you have to figure out if this is, this is why the compromise card came out in TikTok. This is about what you're passionate about this person, you know? So let's clarify with Tarot. Okay, so the card flips, flips over Hermit. Retreating from distraction to determine your own truth. You have to figure out what it is and if you want to compromise with this person because somebody is trying to come in with the intervention, you know, and you have receipts and this is something that you wanted for them to come back and to say all the things. But after the receipts being here, you're just like, mm. So the negotiator is in the reverse because the gifts are there. You know, this person wants to come bearing gifts, but you're like, I'm having hot flashes with the sweater on. You're like, um, do I really want to even talk about this? You know, as much as you know, you want it and you're passionate about it. TikTok deadline time is running out. So maybe they took too long. Maybe the yeah, emperor is here and six of swords. Yeah. So you walked away because the emperor was taking too long. But while you're doing this, this emperor is on his way back to you because they're coming with the gift. You know, you felt like it was time was coming out. And this emperor, you know, Aries energy was taking too long, you know, but he's writing to you. Look way back there. It's the red moon. What is that? The orange moon? What is that? Um, back there he's writing in his journal he's changed you know or has he you know he's going towards you he got his dog with him and he's getting on the yeah on the boat with swords in him you know so he already realized that this is either a sink or swim mission for him uh him or her passion tiktok and time running out you know the time could be running out you could be done the lessons are done and over with yeah Five of Pentacles, you're, you know, this person realized the things that they lost. Hold on, my phone is chiming up. They realized the things that they lost, and it was you. Does that make sense? You know, you they lost you because, again, they, um, what am I saying? They wanted to be in isolation. Does that make sense? Excuse me. They wanted to be in isolation, and you were passionate about them, but now you're like deadline. They know that they're... Uh, you know, they're doing whatever it takes. This could be the, the guy who got on the boat after he did this, you know, because he's like, time is time is running out. I have to hurry up and get to cancer because I know she was passionate at one point. But, you know, there is going to be a deadline pretty soon. I can't wait. Five of Pentacles, five years taking them to get their shit together, you know, or even to look, not necessarily get their shit together, but to even look at how you removed your energy from them not necessarily removed yourself because remember the seven of pentacles is seven of pentacles is seven years of you waiting uh and being patient eight eight of pentacles is eight years of you working you know getting to eight years of working on yourself the lessons poisons crush cleansing removing your energy recalling or going down the memories and feeling like you're in a mental prison because you hadn't learned the lessons but now that you have 
you have to know have they knight of wands energy so this is the person that's going after what they want normally knight of wands is you only live once be bold be fearless do what you love but this person is protecting what they love they're going towards the thing this things yes. that they love huh what yes. no you don't mess with that Nope, don't mess with that. Yeah, so the action is happening by this divine masculine coming towards you, you know? So, yeah, this divine masculine is coming towards you, or divine feminine, you know, take what resonates. There's no gender in tarot. Um, yeah, okay, so the cards came in reverse. Let's see how that came out. Yeah, I picked it up right. So the two of wands in reverse is here. This is the indifference. They understand that there was an indifference, and they had inner conflict when it came to you um, removing your energy with the action so they're taking action to come towards you the five of cups in reverse right this is acceptance finding peace and knowing that they're at a separation from you you know but you have to understand if this is something that you want to be a part of then you have to make the decision the devil in reverse right so the devil in the reverse card of capricorn is resentment you know um you know, this is a lack of will, you know, this is somebody that's freeing themselves from the things that held them back. And the nine of pentacles is here in reverse nine years. It took them for to understand that they missed opportunities, that they were greedy. Um, and it was like overspending and uh, financial insecurities and materialism. So once their, their finances started to bother them, then they decided that you were the eliminating factor that wasn't that had changed in their lives after them being so successful because you've always been there for them. So now they want to turn back around. Secret admirer present today, now, in the moment. You know, so, oh, I hate when the cards fly out like this. You know, this person, they all are coming, look, half are, all right, you guys. Secret admirer present and in the moment. Look what's here. The chariot. This person is moving towards you, moving with confidence now. Does that make sense? Then we have the Ace of Swords. They have clarity. They have clarity. The Page of Cups in reverse is um, misunderstandings. They're realizing. They're saying that this was a relationship problems and we had misunderstandings. And I felt like you were oversensitive, but now I feel that way. Right? The Knight of Pentacles energy. The Knight of Pentacles energy in reverse is uh, stupidity. And exaggeration and uh, potential dishonesty. So they're saying that I, they understand how they were in the past. The Ten of Swords in reverse. This came, these came out in the last reading. The Ten of Swords in reverse. And you see me shuffling. This is feeling neglected. Poor timing and shattered dreams. So while you're trying to go after their your dreams, they're telling you how they feel. And the King of Cups here. Remember I told you in the last read that they they were used to having everybody listen to them. Um, and they wouldn't tell them any different, whether right or wrong. Well, the King of Cups in reverse is, you know, uh, warnings. You know, they're having warnings and people are mocking them and they're like cold now. So now at this point, they're like everything is starting to fall apart since you removed yourself from my energy. And kind of like, like I said to you before... The uh, color purple when Suge Avery came, I mean, when uh, Celie uh, went to Mr.'s house, she cleaned it up and made it feel, you know, made it look better. And then um, once she left, it fell back apart again. You get what I'm saying? So he knows that this person knows, he or she knows that you complete them. Searching online, looking for records, right? So the memories, you're not holding on to the memories, but they're looking at them. They're trying to see who you're romantically involved with. Okay, the card comes out, the sun card in reverse, temperance, and the lovers in reverse. <laughs> so this person with the lovers in reverse um, is feeling like there was some type of conflict or suffering and that, you know, the obedience is not there anymore, if that makes sense. Like, like you're separating from them due to the way that they acted, right? And then we have the sun card in reverse. The sun card in reverse, it normally would be the happiest card, but this is arrogance and negativity. They realize that based on the memories of what they're going through, that with the lovers in reverse, they were always in conflict with you while you were suffering and, you know, and being obedient at the same time. But temperance is here with the uh, balancing out the scales. 
Temperance um, also lets you know that it says cultivate balance in yourself, your environment. It says seek moderation and find your calm center. You've done that. And they know that their calm center is you. Does that make sense? And then we have, we have dating, romance, waves, which is like, what does it say? Emotions coming and going. Access granted, them following you and watching you. Uh, love, enchantment, and triggers. You know, what they felt like uh, you loved, you didn't. You know, you just wanted to be wooed. Does that make sense? Or how did they say wooed? Wooed? I don't know. But the access granted, you know, they're watching and trying to see if you're dating someone because they're emotional. They are lo they love you and they re realize that you don't care about the cars, the places, the jewelry, the name brand. You never cared about that. You only cared about them. And that's where the drama queen came in at right here because they called you a drama queen because you were different. You didn't, you, you just kept saying, that's not what I care about. That's not what I care about. Knight of Cups, look at the birthdays, June 20th, June 21st, and June 22nd. This could be your birthday, but this person again is on their way. Look at the boat here. They're coming with you, towards you with a cup of love. You know, the Knight of Cups says, always follow your heart. It'll never lead you astray because it knows things the mind can't explain. The Two of Cups is love, friendship, and a connection. They realize that you are the connection that they're missing. The Ace of Wands energy is having the courage and the desire and being positive about going towards you. But the Star energy is having optimism and grace. The Star says, no matter what the situation you find yourself in, there is always hope. Have faith, be optimistic, and focus on self-care. That's what you did, and now they're coming towards you. Bottom of the deck is the magician. They have to manifest something different when it comes to them calling you a drama queen and not understanding why you did the things that you did. So I'm going to go ahead now, pull this up. Hold on. I'm going to pull these cards up, and then I'm going to clarify <clears throat> the love affair, the secrecy. And the drama queen. How about that? And now I'm going to pull what's the tea when it comes to this. So, yeah, I just feel like this person didn't really realize who you were until you removed yourself from this energy. And it took a long time. You know, like I said, the Nine of Pentacles came out. It took a long time for you to even get the nerve up to do it because you 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 look them through their eyes and make them uh, feel understood. And you understood what they were going through, even though they had all these different secrets and stuff. So we're going to pull from what's the tea spill with the love affair. Dirty little secrets, low down. You know, this person... Okay, I didn't like the way that came out, but it came out. Uh, oh, there it is. This person was impressed by... You know, uh, doesn't care about mundane, being too good for something, not interested. So they don't, they didn't care about what you were talking about. They liked the, the love affair. They liked the people that were in their face, the fake friends. They liked all that stuff. Secrecy and affair. Yeah. Woke. Being aware. You understood that you were aware of what's going on in your community. You know, the secrecy. It could, they couldn't keep a secret from you. The purpose. What Someone who knows... What they are meant to do in life, understanding their life mission, plays no games and has the facts. You have the facts because you remember you're very intuitive, Cancer. Uh, the siren energy is here. You know, alluring, seductive, enticing. Oh, 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 I know what I wanted to clarify. Remember, I picked it up. The, what was it? The, what is that girl called? Um, let me go at it a different way. It was the archetype. Um, darn it, where does she go? Uh, hold on. There he is, the femme fatale. The femme fatale is who I wanted to clarify. So, um, yeah, you know, the siren energy is like, you know, alluring, seductive, you know, uh, threatening, enticing, mysterious, vindictive, and rebellious. That was the femme fatale energy, but the siren is what we're clarifying. You know, you ever hear about the mermaid stories when they say the mermaid says, you're watching mermaid shows. Uh, 
and they say the mermaid uses her siren to lure the men in. That's basically it. A distorted, distorted feminine and somebody who's jealous. So wants the one you're with. This is that femme fatale energy. This person wants the one you're with. What somebody does routinely, their responsibilities, their skills and training, their employment, jobs. You know, this person wanted. So this could be somebody that this person met, you know, uh, somewhere. And, you know, they're distorted. Fear of conflict, hypersensitivity, rejection of rationality, too receptive, waiting for things to happen. So this person, you know, again, was in the negative energy and jealous of you, even though you knew nothing about her, but you had intuition about the person, her or him. You had intuition about this person. Now, you were unimpressed about the things that this other person, that this guy or, or, or gal that you've been dating, you didn't care about. You know, all the other stuff, uh, like I said, the triggers with the car, you didn't care about any of that stuff. And therefore, you know, people were coming around this person being fake and you were just like, I'm woke. I know my purpose. I'm not going to let that distract me when in actuality it was causing you to be in a mental prison. Drama queen, thirsty. Okay, this car flew back. Bestie. All right. So uh, again, bestie, one who is always by your side, one who 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 never ditches you and who would take a bullet for you. The drama queen, because this guy uh, probably guy or gal probably thought you were a drama queen. Your bestie was like, I got your back. Come on, let's go ride, you know. And so the magician, you know, this person was manifesting differently now that the tables have turned. And the card that came out of the seventh house. Yes, listen. This situation involves someone's partnership, marriage, business matters could be enemies, depending on the situation. Whoever this girl was, maybe this was the girl that was watching you um, because she knew about you and you didn't know about her. You just, or vice versa, him or her. But you felt the energy of, you know, using your intuition. Get back up there. What you doing? Um, so anyway, I'm going to end this after that. Femme Fatale. The Okay, I hate to take this like that, but it came out that way. I'm going to pull one more. A spiritual hater. Yep. Hating on your beliefs, not liking that you're untraditional, uncomfortable with your spirituality. This person is just uncomfortable with you. Cloud nine, always under herbal influence. Maybe that's you or the person that you've been dealing with. But this femme fatale is salty, mad, and upset because they're realizing that this person is on his way back to you. Balling. Have, lux uh, have a luxurious lifestyle. Wanting and having the most expensive things in life. Pocket full of money. But the thing is, is like you said, you're unimpressed about that stuff. And this person who they have been dealing with, false twin, ex-lover, you know, bad, low vibes, bad energy. Low vibrational person, uh, energy that feels dark, dense, and heavy, harboring, suffering, fear, and danger. So this is the type of person that this person attracted this time. Uh, they were a false twin and an ex-lover. So they realized that they loved you more than anything else because you didn't care about everything else. You were woke and knew your purpose. And therefore, they're going to come back towards you. And that's what that energy was. You know, you're gorgeous. You know, you're gorgeous. And they've been eavesdropping uh, on you it just kind of seems like to me so now you need some more juice now i'm going to pull from the unsent messages from the dm this is by anwar Tarot. uh he's on youtube this is his card deck i think it's the unsent messages from the dm hey 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 almost finished hey chicken i'm almost finished okay pretty hey okay well i'm gonna hurry up because there it is all right, so here it is. Would you reject me? I told you they're coming back. They're, they're, they're not sure about how you feel, but listen to this. I overcame obstacles, let my walls down, and let you walk right in. I never thought in a million years it'll be your flame that will burn me. So maybe that is your energy um, when it comes to them. That's why they're asking, would you let them in? Wherever I go reminds me of you. So this is unsent messages. It doesn't say, I think it's divine masculine unsent messages, but male or female take what resonates. So I think this is them asking, would you reject them? You know, um, and this is you probably saying that you overcame the obstacles. So I don't know. Um, take what resonates. Let me pull one more card. And then she's going to start talking a lot in a minute. This is, I told you that. Didn't I just say that? Hold on. This is from the fortune cookie deck. Um, one more and then this is it. All right. So it says opportunities. Opportunities. A stranger is about to change your life. Exciting times and 
and plenty of actions plus a, a special family reunion looks likely i told you guys burnt out you work hard your 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 heart i don't know what i just saw your hard work will see results but your health needs uh to be maintained so check in with your doctor dentist and health professional and try to maintain a healthy lifestyle wisdom the focus uh to focus on the past is to lose the future heed advice from your older person which will allow you to move on so there you have it you take your energy you figure out what it is that you need to do um health came out at the bottom of the deck so check your health an excellent time to start an exercise program or diet many new friendships are on the horizon so you might meet this new lover that this person is so worried about uh at the gym yeah okay there you have it i love you guys um i yeah i love you guys i'll be on tomorrow for day 22 i love you you made it to the end and thank you please don't forget to like share subscribe and hit the bell notification to be notified when i come on let's say an affirmation i now let go of worn out conditions of lack doubt hate negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and also addictions. Addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or situation.